Welcome back. Let's learn about arithmetic expressions. First of all, what is an expression? An expression can be a combination of things like variables, literals, operators, and parentheses. For example, this is an expression. These are expressions. And boom, we have four different expressions. As you can see, expressions are basically just mathematical equations. So you know what a variable is from our last tutorial, but what is the literal? In the first expression, we have 2 times x minus 1, and that is an expression, right? Well, we know that x is a variable, so the 2 and the 1 must be literals because they literally represent the numbers 2 and 1. They are not placeholders. They are literally numbers. An expression also needs an operator. An operator is something like plus, minus, divide, or times. And yes, these work exactly how you think they work. Something to note about these operators is that they do follow PEMDAS, and that is the order of precedence. So multiplication happens before addition, and division happens before subtraction, and then multiplication and division, they would happen at the same time, so it would just go from left to right. So why is an evaluation even useful? Valuations are often used for variable setting. So let's say that y here, we want that to equal 2 times 3 minus 1. Now we could have put an actual variable here, but we only have y. Actually, let's change that. We're going to change this 3 into an x. So now we want this y to equal 2 times x minus 1, which is 5. So 5 minus 1, that's 4. And so we get 2 times 4, y would equal 8. That's what evaluations are really useful for. And in this case, it's just taking x and then putting it in this mathematical equation, but that's what they're for. They're usually used to set a variable to something, or you can also use it in a print statement like 2 times x minus 1. And so we print that out and you can see the number is 8. Now, alternatively, instead of putting it in there, we actually use the y that we had set up already. So let's do that. Click y, let's go output, and boom, there's the 8. This expression evaluated to 8. So now, anytime we use the y variable, it's going to show the number 8. That is why evaluations are useful. Something else that's very useful and every programmer needs to add to their toolkit is a compound operator. So I showed you in the variable video that we can add to a variable by just putting x plus 1. So let's do the same thing with the print line except with x now and let's see what it shows. And you can see that the number is 6. This makes sense. However, there is a faster way to do this, a shorthand. Check this out. So we're writing it out. We put x plus equals 1. And look at this. We're just going to run it. And it's 6. How did that happen? This knows that you want to add to what it already equals. So we can actually put 10. And now it should be 15. That's awesome. Does it work with the other operators? Yes, it does. Check it out. Negative 5. We subtracted 10. Okay, how about multiplication? We're really getting tricky now. Nope. 50. It still works. Division. I don't know this one. Does it work? Zero. And I'm not going to tell you why that came out to zero this time, but let's just do two. This should actually come out to two. And you see it does come out to two. I'm not going to tell you why that is just yet, but just know this shorthand does work and compound operators are used all the time. So add this to your tool belt. Remember, plus equals, minus equals, but put the, the uh, modification first and then the equal sign second. You are saying, I want to add and set the value to whatever. That's pretty much it. Before you go though, let's do a comprehension check. We make sure you know what's going on. If X is equal to five and Y is equal to two and we do X plus Y times two, what does that equal? Remember, PEMDAS matters. Pause the video, come back in three seconds. Let's see if you got the right answer. All right, what better way to check this than to actually run this? Let's run it. And the answer is nine. Tell me in the chat. Why is this 9? Why isn't this 14? Why wouldn't this be 5 plus 2 times 2? In programming, math rules apply. Why is this 9? Tell me in the chat. That's it. Thanks for watching.